biblically. Amen. Now for you that have read your Bibles, know that at, at, at the beginning of the week or at, at just a few days before this day, amen, Jesus is on a donkey. He is riding into Jerusalem. And this is what I want to preach on. Hey, listen to me. I want to go to the archives of heaven. Amen. I want to look up into the heavenly gazette. And I want to see what made the headlines in heaven. Amen. This week in the Bible. Okay. Now listen to me. We, some of you get the Atlanta Constitution or the Atlanta Journal. Amen. And headlines are the most exciting things that happened that day. Amen. Headlines and the things that make the front page are stuff that is supposed to grab your interest, amen, to cause you uh, to want to buy paper, amen. <laughs> hey, listen to me, and I want to look into the archives. I want to look into what I will call the heavenly gazette, amen. And I want to see, I, I want to see what the editor, amen, and the editor, I believe, the Word of God, amen, was given to the men of God by the holy inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of God. Amen. So in other words, the Holy Ghost is the editor of our paper. Amen. amen. And I want to see today. Amen. <coughs> and I want to see today the things that made headlines in heaven. Amen. Hey, I can see the paper as the headlines come out. Uh, Jesus rides in to Jerusalem. He is accepted by the Jews. If I'm correctly speaking, the Jews accepted him as being their king. If I read right in Matthew, amen, chapter number 21, I believe it is, that the Jews began to cut down branches and lay straw in front of him, amen, of recognizing him as king, amen, as their Messiah, their king of who he is, amen. Hey, listen to me today, amen, headline three, of Jesus, they adore him, amen. Hey, listen to me, but I want to tell you something. And I got to hurry uh, through political pressure and through the hard times that the true pit of Jews were going through. All of a sudden, uh, they began to turn their back on Jesus. Amen. Amen. All of a sudden, the headline uh, might read, Jesus is betrayed. Amen. All of a sudden, the next headline, amen, could be a read. Now, listen to me. I want to tell you something. Amen. I begin to look at these headlines. Things that would catch people's interest, things that would make them want to read. And I see in the Heavenly Gazette that one of the biggest headlines is Jesus is on trial. Amen. All of a sudden, he is being tried. All of a sudden, this case could, uh, now listen to me, what they're looking for something uh, to find wrong with Jesus. Amen. Oh, I got news for you. I got word from heaven. Amen. Oh, Pilate himself uh, spoke these words. Amen. He said, I find no fault in Jesus. Amen. Oh, I can read the paper in heaven. Oh, when the Holy Ghost wrote down, I can't find nothing wrong anymore. Oh, there's no sin in him. There's no spot in him. Oh, he's perfect. He's done the job. Amen. He, he's everything that he was publicized out of me. Amen. Amen. And listen to me. If somebody said, preacher, oh, listen to me. Jesus is on trial. And listen to me. And I can see the publication. How this got Pilate. How maybe how Jesus in front of him. And Pilate would look at him. And G tell Jesus. said, don't you know that I have the power uh, to kill you? Don't you know I have the power uh, to crucify you? Oh, but I think, listen to me. I think the Holy Ghost uh, wrote it in big red letters. Amen. Uh, when Jesus looked at old Pilate that day. Oh, and Pilate talked. And he said, you have no power unless it's given to you by the Father above. Amen. Now listen to me. There is an excitement in the land. Uh, Jesus is on trial. People are wanting to know. People are being pressured to testify against him. And hey, listen to me. The crowd is being made to call out, give us Barabbas, give us Barabbas. Amen. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, see, there's an excitement in heaven. If I understand the Bible right, there was 12 leagues of angels standing on ready. 
uh, in the revolution, in our war, we had many men. I believe God had some many angels. Amen. I believe that they were standing on go that all that Jesus had to do is say, Lord, come get me. Amen. And they had left heaven and they had went and got him. Hey, but you know what? Listen to me. He did. The Bible said he didn't open his mouth. Amen. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Ten lives. Enough to make me want to buy a paper. Enough to make me get interested to find out what's going on. Why is this man going through what he does? In? Why is Jesus allowing him to persecute him? Why is Jesus allowing him to whoop him? Why is Jesus letting him spit in his face? Why is Jesus allowing him to pluck his beard? Why is, there, why is Jesus allowing him to mock him? This is Jesus, the man that can walk on water. This is Jesus, the man that can feed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. This is Jesus. Amen. Or they can walk out to the bow of the ship and look at the wind and the water and say, Peace, be still, and things calm down. Why? Why? Why is he doing it? Why? 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 Boy, this is getting interesting. Boy, they surely, surely, Mr. Clement, they're not going to crucify him. They're not going to. Boy, I'm going to tell you what. Hey, listen to me in today's time that when the, 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 the prosecutor has delivered his case, uh, they will turn it over to the jury, amen? And the jury will pass sentence. They will say either guilty or not guilty. And all of a sudden he comes back and the paper reads, they're going to crucify him. They're going to crucify him. They're going to crucify. In, in heaven, word has went out. The paper has been wrote. They're going to crucify. Why? What did he do? Why are they crucifying Jesus? Have you ever asked yourself, have you ever wanted to dig in to understand why they are crucifying Jesus? Why? Why is this happening, they make? Why is this going on? See, some of you don't know what Easter is all about. Let me tell you what you know about Easter. A new tie, a new shirt, a new pair of shoes, a new hairdo, a new outlook on life, an Easter sunrise, Sunday morning to make you feel better, but that ain't what Easter is all about. Hey man, listen to me. I want you to learn something this morning. That listen, there was a lot this week that happened. Come on, don't get talked about it. In the day and time that we live in, too much anymore. A lot of folks don't like to talk about it. They want to do away with it. They want to do away with the blood bought way. They want to do away with the crucifixion. They want to do away with the persecution. They want to do away with the things that Jesus went through. But it happened. And this in heaven. And now I read the word they're going to crucify. They're going to crucify. They're going to crucify Jesus. They're going to crucify. Why are they going to crucify? I wish we had some mirrors. I'd let you look at the reason they crucified him. I wish I had a mirror I could wave in front of you this morning. I would let you see the reason that Jesus let them crucify him. Amen. I would let I would love for you to see the reason that Jesus stretched his hands out and allowed them to nail him to an old rugged cross. I wish I could show you, amen. They're going to crucify. They're going to crucify. They're going to crucify. They're going to crucify. They're going to crucify him. They're doing it to you. 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 Doing it to you. Listen to me. Now, I'm not going to preach long this morning, but I want you to know what the excitement is about. Listen to me. Brother Jason, I want you to know what this day really means. And in the Heavenly Gazette, Jesus, the paper come out headlines, Jesus is on trial. 
He is found guilty. Jesus is found guilty. Oh, I see ears popping up all over the church. People want to know what they found him guilty of. They want to know what they found him guilty of. They found him guilty of love in the first degree. The only thing they can find wrong with Jesus is that he loved us enough. He said, no greater love than a man had than he laid down his life for a friend. Amen. I'm so glad he counted me a friend before I even knew him. Amen. I'm so glad that he loved me enough that he allowed, oh, I wish you could understand. The only thing he can be found guilty of is love. He is to be crucified. And I said, Lord, I can't. I don't know how. He said, just listen to me. Walk with me. It just seemed like God said, I'm going to walk you through it. And all of a sudden this week in the Heavenly Gazette, the paper went out. They're going to hang him on a cross. Hang him on a cross. There's so much happened this week. So much happened that I ain't got time to talk to you about it. Judas betrays him. One of his own betrays him. And I wish I could take time to talk about it, but when he met Judas, he still called him friend. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey, listen to me. Peter denies him. Peter denies him. Peter walks away from him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Man, so much has went on. So much has went on. Listen to me. In the head of his head. Can you see that in heaven, in heaven, I'm trying to find a way to deliver what the Lord has shown me. Listen to me. In heaven, the paper goes out daily. The paper goes out daily. And all of a sudden, Jesus is on the cross. And all of a sudden I can see the paper boy as he runs down the street of heaven. Read all about it. Jesus has now died. He died today about 3 o'clock. Jesus has died. For, for what? He didn't do anything. He just died today. Jesus, he's dead. There's, he's, he's dead. What do we do? A shock comes over heaven. What's happened? The paper reads, God turns his back <coughs> on his own son. God gave his own son to the sinners. He is dead. He is dead. He is dead. He is dead. Now, if you would have loved me, allow me a little room and give the preacher, I can see old Satan saying, Paper boy, give me the paper. Let me have one of those papers. And he gets the paper. All of a sudden, he looks at the paper and he laughs. <laughs> oh, the, look, he's thrilled. <coughs> Heaven is sad. There's so much that could happen. I wish I had time. I talked to you about, see, you don't get everything just from the headlines. Right. 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 It's just not the first verse of the chapter who will get to me that. Right. But it's down in the chapter who will find to me. See, He's dead. But let me tell you what happened on the day that he crucified. He forgave me. He, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Amen. He finished his word. He said, Father, it is finished. It's done. What a, what a 
See, sometimes we need to read more than the headlines. Sometimes we need to read. Amen. Sometimes we need to read on down in there. You know what church is all about this morning. Bringing you some good news from a part. Amen. 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 Bringing Amen. you some good news from a part. But preacher, he is dead. <coughs> yes, and if that would have been it, we could have all went home. Paul said, there is no resurrection. He said, our preaching is in vain. And all of a sudden this morning, three days have passed and no news yet. No news yet. No news yet. Three days have passed and we've yet to hear from heaven. Praise it. And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, on that resurrection morning, the paper boy read aloud. He rose. He's alive. Yeah. He's not dead anymore. <laughs> we can't explain it. Watch him die. He's alive. Thank you. 
they throw it in the yard. My daddy would ride out to hear the good news and get the news every day. Amen. And I'm excited this morning about the news that I have heard from heaven. I wouldn't even get excited when they told me that he had died. But when they got word, his old Josh jumped up off the bench and he hollered, Read all about him. Jesus is alive. Yeah. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Hey, the devil couldn't hold him. He's alive. Amen. Hey, listen to me this morning. I am so excited about him being alive. And him being alive. Listen to me. Now I'm going to get into this a little bit. Look closer. I read where Mary Magdalene and some other women went to the tomb. And they met a man in shining white apparel. And he told them, said, Jesus is not there. He said, He is risen. He said, Go and tell his brother. Yeah. And by the time that scripture says it, when she told it to the other disciples right there, when she told it to Peter and them, that they took it as idle tale. Yeah. And I looked up that word as nonsense. I will tell you, they took it as something that was hard to swallow, something hard to believe, something that wasn't real. Somebody said, Preacher, I can't handle what you're preaching. I can't believe that someone would die, love me enough, that didn't even know me, that loved me enough that he would die for me before I. I just don't believe that. And said, Preacher, I don't believe that he's risen from the dead. I believe once dead, always dead. Amen. I will tell you, people take me as nonsense. They look at me like I'm talking out the back of my head. Amen. Like I don't know that Jesus is alive and that He's sitting at the right hand of the Father and He's making intercession for me and you, which means that He's hearing my prayer and He's seeing, taking care of my needs and He's coming to my rescue. Amen. Listen to me. I know that you think that I'm kind of crazy. But God wants to use you now this morning. God wants to use you. I'm alive, little lady. I'm alive. He wants you to know I'm alive. Amen. Hey, he's alive. That's enough. Amen.
You know what I would love to be read in the Heavenly Gazette this afternoon or in the morning? One got saved. Amen. Amen. One found out Jesus is alive and he loves him and he wants to come into his life. So you say you believe that's printed? I believe every person that accepts the Lamb of God in his life gets wrote down from heaven. Amen. Amen. This morning, stand and get us a song. What's the news with you? Do you know it? Do you know it? Amen. This morning, God has tried to, in my weak way, and I know it's weak. I should have prayed harder. I should have asked God really what He wanted to right there. I should have studied. I should have done better. But what I'm telling you is, we got the news out. We got the news out this morning. God wanted you to know personally what's going on this week. Jesus rode in. Jesus was betrayed. Jesus was put on trial. Jesus was put to death. Jesus was crucified. Jesus was put to tomb. But Jesus rode in for certain He's alive. Does Jesus live in you? <laughs> I'm going to say this and then we're going to lose. You can take what I say and just blow it off like it's no good. Just like it don't matter. That don't mean that he ain't coming back. That don't mean that it ain't real. Hey, one headline I'm going to write when he comes. I'm gone. How is it your life this morning? Do you really know it? Do you really know it? Do you really know him as a Savior? Have you just heard about him? Have you ever really met him? If you don't know Jesus this morning, I wish you'd come down to the altar. These folks that would like to pray for you this morning. There's folks that would like to help you find Jesus in your life. Just meeting Jesus here is not what it's all about. I'm so glad that when I met him here, he goes home with me. Amen. He goes to work with me. He goes everywhere I go. Jesus wanted somebody to know what's happened this week. Somebody here... It's no shame not to know what's happened. But now that you know, I wouldn't just stand on that bank. I'd want to know him more than ever. When I found out what he does. Same universe. Are you looking for a place to worship God in spirit and in truth? Hello, I'm Frankie Green, pastor of Trinity Baptist Church in Auburn, Georgia. We would like to invite you to be in our service with us. Sunday school starts at 10 with morning worship at 11. Sunday evening worship begins at 6 and Wednesday night prayer service at 7. We are a King James Bible-believing, fundamental, independent Baptist church reaching out to those who need a special touch from God. For more information, you can visit us at TrinityBaptistAuburn.com or on Facebook at Trinity Baptist Church Auburn. We welcome you to Trinity Baptist Church where you will become part of a family.